West, Chapter 18, The Rope. Wukong and Guani flew over the ocean and back to the White River. From the sky, Guanin called, Dragon, come out of the river at once. The Taomong is here. The dragon rose from the river and bolt. Both bought his staff, he said, I'm sorry, I didn't really like the monk had arrived. I was trying to rest, a nasty monkey was... The dragon stopped talking when he saw the Wukong next to Guani. That's him! This is San Wukong, said Guani. He's traveling with Tang Mok. The monkey didn't tell me that, said the dragon. I even asked him who he was and he didn't answer. I know, said Guani. She saw the Wukong look. From now on, you must tell people who you are. The, uh, there are others waiting for you too. Okay, said Wukong. Guanin looked back at the dragon. You will carry the Tangbong to the Western Paradise. Sparkling light surrounded the dragon. When the light faced, a horse stood there where the dragon had been. It looked exactly like the Tangbong horse. After one in left, Hu Kong led the horse to the Tangbong. You got the horse back, said the monk. No, said Wanin. Wanin was there. She turned the dragon into a horse. He's supposed to come with us. The Tangbong led to his knee, fell to his knee and bowed. Wukong laughed. Stand up, master. But what is that is back on mountain of Potakala now? Do you, do you need a ride? Called a voice. Wukong spun around. A boat had arrived next to the shore. I will take you across the river, said the boatman. The Tango stepped onto the boat and Wukong followed with the horse. The boatman didn't speak as he rode them across the river. On the other side of the river, the monkey led the horse onto the shore. The tag monk stepped out of the boat. When he turned into fake boatman, the boat was gone. Wukong laughed when he saw how confused the monk looked. He was the river spirit. The monkey's plan. The bong bong and the monkey continued the journey over hills and across plains. How long will it take to reach the western paradise? The tabong asked one with attention. A long, long time, said Wukong. We barely start our journey. They worked some more until they reached a buddy step. Paradise, let's stop here for the night, said Wukong. We are in bu buddy his. The prince who inside will gladly give us some food and a place to sleep. Later that is that evening, the Tangbong and Wukong ate a meal with the priors. When the head priors were heard where Tangbong was going, he was excited. You are going here to get the two scripture, said the priors. That is quite unheard of, quite unheard of. How did Bohi staff choose you? See that only two believers could make the journey, said the Tang Monk. I tried uh, try, try on the rope, and she saw that it was a true believer. Do you have a rope with you? asked the priors. Yes, yeah, said the Tang Monk. It's a buddy's treasure. He reached into his bag and pulled out the rope. The prior eyes part. May I hold it? The Tango handed the rope to the priors. The prior admired for a moment. May I borrow it just for a night? 
The tap water hated it. I guess that would be okay. <laughs> Later, let that night of prayers awake, gazing on the rope. I can't return this rope. I must have it. <laughs>